Starting off, we have Francois Secondi Grand Cru Brut Champagne. Doesn't get much better than this. And what's exciting about this producer is not only uh, is, is you can feel his passion in the glass, he's been producing wine and working in the wine industry since he was 14 years old and purchased his own vineyards back in the 70s, is that this is the only grower producer in the Grand Cru of Stillery. So um, kind of unique in that sense. Has just five hectares, so small producer, making these handcrafted wines. This one happens to be uh, a mix of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. And you can just smell right off the bat this kind of crisp green apple, this beautiful uh, brioche, a little bit of white flowers, a little bit of white pepper even. There's a little bit of spice to this wine. And a nice toasted component. Um, it's it's a brute, so, and it's got eight grams of liter for of residual sugar, so I'm expecting it to be fairly dry in the palate, but uh, enough kind of roundness to support all these uh, really powerful flavors. And that meets all expectations. It's a stunning champagne. This has a lot of richness uh, on the palate. I'm getting more of those florals, a little bit of honey, a little bit of um, like toasted apple or baked apple, all of those kind of richer, uh, fuller flavors that you love uh, with Grand Cru Champagne. This would be fantastic with a roast chicken. This would be great um, with kind of throughout the meal, even with a steak, even with something that has a little bit more fat to it, a little bit more richness to it, this will totally stand up. So open it um, and enjoy in good health.